Okay, so you've gotten into Proxmox for the first time after you installed Proxmox. Now, what do you do with Proxmox? Well, there's some configuration that is good to do. And if you're not in a corporate production environment, the first thing we want to do is actually set Proxmox up so we can receive updates. Now, there are a production repository, and Proxmox comes by default with production repositories. But what we're going to do is we're going to set it up for or the free repositories so that we can use Proxmox without a subscription. Now this is considered to be a non-production uh, implementation of Proxmox, something you would find more often in your home lab or a testing system in the IT office where you're testing updates and seeing how they're going to interact with your actual production configuration. So we're going to click right here on the server. By default, the server is called PVE. If you need Named it something different during the installation, it will be called something different. And you can notice we're given a little bit of information about our server, initially some hard drive storage information, and then we have an entire bar of information here. We'll look at some of the other different levels of info information here and how to use some of the other things. But the first one we're going to go to here, and if your down arrow isn't clicked, go ahead and click on that. And then it's repositories. Here in repositories, you you'll notice that you have a message telling you that your subscription isn't active here. And we're going to deal with that first by checking or clicking so that it's highlighted this repository here. This is the enterprise repository for Proxmox updates, and we're going to disable it. We're going to do the same here for the Seth repository list, and we're going to disable it. Now, for this implementation and basically non, you know, cluster based implementations of Proxmox, we're not going to use set, at least for now. And so what we're going to do is click add here. We get told that there with a message that we don't have a valid subscription. That's okay. We can move on. And it first comes up and wants to add our, our enterprise. Well, enterprise requires a subscription. But if we click on the drop down, we can actually go down and check no subscription. And we can press add. That'll add the no subscription subscription repository in here and we're ready now to start receiving updates inside of Proxmox. Now Proxmox has a multi-tiered update setup just like most Linux systems and being based on Debian Proxmox is no different. So when we go ahead and hit update initially you'll see no updates here. Well what we have to do to get these updates is actually hit this refresh button and then we're going to press OK. Now what this is going to do is it's going to look at a bunch of different repositories, both for Debian and Proxmox, and it's going to see what's available and if the version numbers match. So you can see here task OK. Task OK means that everything finished. Now if you've done updates on Debian or Ubuntu, you know, normally it'll tell you how many updates are available and whatnot. And you notice this doesn't. But we can go ahead and hit this exit button and it will show up with the available updates. And you can notice that we installed version 8. 0.3 and we're already seeing newer versions of 8.4 out. So it does have some pretty decent updates and these updates are actually even in front of the production updates which can be good and can bad because they're not tested as thoroughly as a production update but they are more cutting edge. All right so now we can hit upgrade here and this is what will actually install these particular updates onto our server. So pressing upgrade will pick up a console window and it's going to ask us if it continues. And we can say yes and hit enter and it'll continue. All right, once you get the root at PVE or root at your server name and it comes back to an area where you can normally type, you are finished and you're okay just to exit out screen. And you'll notice that these updates show on this screen at this. For some reason, when you exit out the updating console, it doesn't do a auto refresh so that it removes all your updates. If this bothers you, you can go ahead and hit refresh and you can see that they'll all disappear. So this concludes setting up your Proxmox system for updates.